What's up, Bob Peoples? Let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, what's up, Nitrate? <laughs> Literally get on to just play 10 minutes to myself before I go on stream and Nitrate's making fun of me and tattling to Prime. What is happening? Incredible. Incredible. Not because interesting. Huh. Impatient two ten. Maybe that's fixed. I imagine you probably fixed that like right away. So someone else is having the same thing. I could probably just fix that really quick. Oh, what's up, Sybil? Hi, Truck. I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I am doing very good. Very, very good. Um. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Okay. One thirty-eight. Hmm. That's interesting. Dang, Hedgehog? Gifty? Dang, thanks, buddy. Happy September, appreciate it. Um, Sebel, we're gonna hopefully do... I, so one thing is, I don't know why this is happening. Um, because I got a problem here where randomly this plugin uh, wasn't too happy with me. Did we change something about getting options not being able to run in? Huh. I'll just disable this plugin for now. Alright. So there's... Okay, that's new. Is that because I didn't clear this? Can I not just uninstall that plugin? Um, and at that Lua. Wow, that's interesting. 
That's new. Is that on me? Is it because... Huh. Very interesting. I mean, we can check, I guess. Um... Always break, break, mine, break, break. Something in... Weird. With a red jack? Oh, it's line break jack, MFA. Do path expand. Path expand. Gen expand wild cards. Do in path. And them get runtime file. Um, that's kind of weird. I wonder if I put um, that plugin back in. If. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do is. Uh, then. Sorry, one second, Chad. I was trying to figure out. What's your tech stack at work? Um. I use uh, quite a bit of uh, quite a few things. I mean, like our main tech stack is we use Go on the back end for a lot of stuff. Postgres as a database, React for front end. Um, yeah. I, I don't know exactly what part you're asking. Hedgehog, I've got a lot of plugins. Um, oh, and don't do that. We are hopefully, as soon as Vegan finishes up some other things like that, um, we'll be able to. Wow, I actually have no idea where that's happening. That is so weird. Connie, I've literally just turned on stream and I'm getting seg faults. Like, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Every time I open up this .vim file. That's kind of weird. Even Prime. Uh, we had chatted about it. I mean, Prime, I don't think Prime's doing it because I have one. He's been interested in checking one out for a while. Vim regex string. So. And little P call. Coroutine resume, package require. How is get runtime file seg faulting? Oh, what's up, Alt F4? I like C without the pluses. Nice, yeah. Similar feeling. Uh, Dota 2 attitude. Did we just change something? Oh, is it... Um, oh, you know what it could be? I wonder if it's just this. Oh... It was literally just that this was this PR's old. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, Alt F4. Yeah, it was fun playing Splitgate. I like the game. I played for 10 minutes before stream. Um, okay, I no big deal. We figured it out. It was just that this probably had some incompatible um, thing going on. I don't play a lot of shooters, but... Um, and by don't play a lot of shooters, I mean, I haven't played shooters since I used to play with my brother on, like, our PlayStation 3. Um, I don't know that I've really ever played shooters on PC. I don't really play PC. But, you got pinged about plenary.async. They're asking, they're barking up the wrong tree there. <laughs> yeah, smart, smart, Connie, smart. Check health, health search. So if I do um, check health telescope, FD not found. 
We probably don't even need to do this if we have Rip Grab, right? Because that almost seems too... Maybe I should just say something about that, right? Yeah, I don't even know if we need to check this. It would be like only if... Uh, finder name. Because this is also for... Do we... Which one do we do by default? I guess built-in files. Find files. I think the by default we use... Oh, we use FD actually by default first. And then we use FD find or we use rip grep. Oh, interesting. Okay. What's up, bad guy? Um, I didn't really realize that that was the ordering that we had for these. I mean, FD is faster at finding files than rip grep. Um, it will be nice to do this though, right? So we can do this, bunner installed, and tree sitter installed. Huh. It doesn't find the extensions though, installed. Oh, whoops. Rip grip is amazing. Oh yeah, sweet hedgehog. Fallback find Unix where on Windows. Oh, interesting because of the way it prints output. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, installed extensions, extension needs repairs, extension info table. That's what it's installed. Um, telescope.com. Check how. Huh, interesting that this doesn't print anything out. Checking extensions. Did not inspect uh, extension info. I don't remember what's inside here. We'll see, I guess, right? Oh, nothing? I wonder if this is because I reload it. Extensions. Oh, I think it's because we use the index. Okay, we probably need to change this as well. Register extensions, load extensions, extensions, manager. Yeah, this probably doesn't work that way. Yep, we don't... S oh, we do set some stuff in here. What's up, Ageon? I got randomly gifted in Project Shield. Nice. Probably because it's September. Probably because it's September. <laughs> uh, Sourcegraph has another podcast, not Dev Tool Time. It has a different one that's uh, pretty cool. I wonder if this is because of this. Um, telescope init. Where do I have my uh, setup here? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. So that's just dropping because of my reload stuff, I think. Interesting. Oh.
TJ dot telescope dot setup. I didn't spell telescope right. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Okay. I don't really use a file tree, though. I don't. I don't really use one. I use um. Like, I use this, which is L I R, but it's just to like move around just within stuff really quick when I'm not using this. So it's actually, it must be something about the way that I'm loading these. Now let's just turn this to false for a second. How does that not have anything inside of here? <laughs> Real people. Viewer of XPLR. I don't think so, Hedgehog. So clearly I'm setting these at some point. But I'm dropping them somehow too. Um, actually don't know why I'm doing that. But right now it shouldn't reload these. What did I just change in my stuff recently to make this happen? Okay. Weird. Do I reload anything by default inside here? No. No. If should reload. Do I have reload anywhere else inside here? Huh. There's something, uh. Really neat Rust based file manager with Lua extensions. Oh, that's pretty interesting, Hedgehog. Yeah, you can, uh, you can link that. Okay, I don't know why that is working like that. If I do that, and then I do this, and then I do that. Uh, is this something dumb with like impatient? No, it can't be because I disabled that. So right now I'm trying to figure out why does, why is extensions getting, I guess it's possible that I've got something in, do any of these automatically reload? Really telescope is false. False. Okay. Reloader. But this shouldn't do anything. Oh, I'm so confused. I am so confused. Cool, thanks, Hedgehog.
Oh, cool. And then this just connects it out. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, that's a really cool project. That's a really cool project. I will uh, check those out later, even just to see how they're doing the code. That's really cool. What am I, what is even happening? Because if I do this and I print this, then it works. So orders, whoops. Well, not, now I'm just big confused, big confused. Whatever, I'll get back to that later. That's just on me. All right, um, health. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Okay, cool, that makes sense. All right, so we've got these. Extension health, health. Extension info dot health. Right, okay, so that works right now, right? They can just add dot health to their thing. Yeah, I don't, I've literally like, I haven't looked at Arecbo. I don't know. That's uh, not, not my project. Yeah, yeah, that totally makes sense, Hedgehog. No, you're good. I like seeing what people are thinking. It's very cool. Vim dot announce check. Wait, why would he not just write print? It doesn't even make sense. No, I would just do something like this. Health info. Check begin. Installed X. Don't do that. And then Except I probably don't want to do, I probably want to do something like health star, right? It's been a while. Report okay, report start, report error. Or info, report warn. Yeah. All right, so this won't do anything right now because none of these have anything, but I could go to one of these things. Like we could just open up, um, I don't know, Octo and them extensions, Octo exports health is a function. Vim.fn health report error. Oh, no, no. Um, so let's do this. Check health telescope. And it doesn't do the thing again for me for some reason. I don't know why. We'll figure that part out later. Huh, so it didn't start this one even though I returned that from extensions. I should check out what's going on there. Let's do FCA. I uh, did I put it in the wrong spot? Octo. Does it have to go inside of exports? Is that what we were doing? Um, extensions init. Oops. 
want I want what you did and Sundra did the wrong thing. Ah, okay. Excellent. X exports or this. Ah, okay. I see. I see what you're saying. It's in exports something. We should put it in health. Totally. Totally, totally, totally. And it should just be completely separate. Manager. So we just return this direction directly inside here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I remember this now. I, it's been a while since I looked at this. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Need to sit closer to the screen. In the hope of absorbing minutes goes. Ryan, that's a great strategy. It's a good strategy. Just by osmosis. What's up, VS Coders? Oh, awesome, Hedgehog. Yeah, very cool. I'm glad that you liked it because of uh, Telescope. Yeah, the PR is old. I know, that's why I wanted to get this, get it done today. Um, okay. Maybe we can just do something like this. So this would only be if we haven't actually loaded this yet. So this is the same thing. That makes sense. That seems fair. Uh, maybe we don't even want to do this. We can just do something like this. Just like this. And yep, that would work okay. So now we can go back to L. Oops. Here, we can just check in. Extensions. Extensions. Dot hell. Install. X. Oops. Alright, sure, we'll see if this works. Oh, okay. Fail to check for telescope plugin. Exception. Telescope dot X. Extension. Did I spell it? Oh, right, 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 right. I remember now. This needs to be like this. Extension module. Oh, sweet. Okay. What's up, Jake? Moving to Kitty from iTerm. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, Kit I like Kitty as well. Hey, catch you later, Hedg Hedgehog. Have a good one. Something like this, right? Like, this is... The I mean, this, this part's not good. We can go back to here and go to here, and we need to fix this. This song already play? Huh. Maybe we should do this as health info like this. Now let's see. 
Something about my setup, I think, is messing that up. Okay. I don't know if there's a way that we can make this... Um... We, I don't think we have any way to say like a sub command basically. Report error, report star, report info. Maybe we should just do one for each one. Maybe we should do them not, not quite like that. Installed extensions. I think we'll just do it as health. Start. If there's nothing, then I can just report that it's okay, and I will. I'll just. Yeah, that seems better. Else, um, hell, okay. No health check provided. Um. Uh, what should I say? What should I even say here? Just like, um, no health provider. What's up, Anna? Good to see you. <laughs> I don't even need this anymore. So I should just do, instead of saying installed, we should say uh, something like, telescope extension like this that no health provider okay okay error oh no no I'm doing great how are you doing today Anna is there no pound 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 no there's not it's very simple very very simple there's only like four options that you can do Yeah, a while ago, Connie. This was like in college. Better fix it upstream. This seems fine. I don't think this is bad. This seems good this way. Maybe instead of okay, I should do health info there. Um, glad it's almost the weekend. Indeed. What should I what should I say for this? I, I don't want to say no health provider. I want to say um, no provide. I don't I don't know what the words are. Why am I having such a hard time thinking about it today, chat? Huh? Uh, I just want to say that they didn't write anything here. But no health provider, that doesn't mean anything to users. Pass? <laughs> I don't know. I could just do nothing. But it looks weird if there's nothing there. That's the main problem, I feel like. If you are you select the text of your streamer or platform give it to you. Uh it's and it's AI. AI decides them. Why? No health check provided. Nice, that's a good one. Stand up comedy, really? <clears throat> How'd that get there? Chat. Chat, are, are all of you that gullible? Come on. Come on, chat. I thought I would have taught you better by now. <laughs> I did. I just pranked everybody. <laughs> what up, chat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I've got I've got a really good joke though. Let me go. Let me find it. So yeah. Whoops. Uh, that's fine. Okay, we're good. Um. So I made this joke yesterday. It was a pretty good one. Change mod joke gives you this deck. Uh, rocks when he tries to pick up a girl at the bar. He misses every shot he takes, chat. There you go. That's my best joke for today. <laughs> oh, man. Man, I felt really good about that one. So there you go, chat. That's how I earned my stand-up comedy tag. Poor Rock, such a nice guy, too. <laughs> so true. Oh, man. Telescope extension. Stall there. We're all bashing him. That's my best prime Lamau sound. <laughs> That's the best I got. I, it's not as good. I already know it's. I already know it's not good. But so another funny thing, Alt F4, you'll appreciate this. Is I almost comment on probably like every single one of Rox's YouTube videos. Which, by the way, if you're not watching, they're really good, very informative, lots of new stuff happening. But it's fifty-fifty whether it's going to be a diss or a compliment. He never knows which one it's going to be. So whenever he gets a he gets a notification that I comment on a video, he's it's just like. He's really unclear what the comment is going to be. So it's always like really, really, really nice. Like, wow, the guy in the thumbnail is so handsome, you know, or he did his error reporting one where he, uh, he like made 60,000 error messages to Sentry and his limit was 5,000. And I told him like, consider maybe just doing success reporting instead. Cause you'll probably only get like one or two message of those per month. So you'd be well under the limit. So it's like, there's a wide range of options of what I might send to him in comments, but he's just, he never knows what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's always, it's, it's it's good. It uh, so he never knows. He never knows what's happening next. Yeah. Compliment should require stream points. This is real life. Troll DV. Um. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we should do instead something like uh, searching runtime file for these if they're not loaded. What does this look like again? Whoops. What's up, Beefredo? What? Who's out there we're checking? Telescopes? Yeah. Yep, we're writing a nice little guy like this. It's going to check the extensions, which is going to be real nice. Uh, cause that should make things a little bit easier here. Checking external dependencies or rip graph found, FD non found. Okay. Just install that. <laughs> All right. Connie, was there anything else on this PR? Oops. I just closed out a Twitch chat. Hopefully you guys don't say anything useful. All right. I'm just going to merge this. I think. I think I'm just going to merge. Right, you know, it's unlikely, but it happens sometimes. Mostly when Connie's chatting. Or be Friedel. 
Um, do, 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 do. Oh, we should probably write somewhere that you can do this. Do we have anything to even tell people how to write extensions? Oops. Extension. Some extensions. Loading extensions. Accessing extensions from extensions. Community extensions. API. I, did we not even tell people how to do this at all? I don't I don't even think we did. Have you seen the FCF Lua plugin? Uh not like in detail, KD. No. Probably looking for my true Dota 2. I'm over blood today. Oh, we forgot to turn our music back on. Sorry, chat. After we watch that great clip of Prime. <laughs> Alright, well I'm not gonna do that today. Because we didn't write anything for it, so that's not on me. Well, it kind of is on me, but yeah, that's how it goes. Alright. Move to health. And fix ups. Okay. Alright, this should hopefully pass. We can add more of these later. I don't really. Th that's that's fine. That's whatever. Katie, which one though? Aren't there like three of them right now? I should do this more often. You're gonna get so much done today, buddy. <laughs> so much done today. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, sweet. Awesome, Anna. That's good. Okay. I'm merging this in. That seems fine. Anna, are you having fun with it? Oh, this is not a bad plan. This is definitely not a bad plan here. Why don't you merge that so fast? Gave me anxiety. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Uh, okay, so based on. So this is the base. Oh, that's cool. So this is a real buffer. Ah, coaching style. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, very cool. Nice. We'll give these a star. Whoops. I don't I think I've seen this one before. I didn't star it though. Yeah, that's sweet. That's a, wait, wait, you broke our famous platform, guys. Do 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 do. Yeah, very cool. Nice. Seems fun. Do, 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 do. Sweet. Do, 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 do. Muniter, Muniter. What's up, buddy? So what does uh, what does FCF do for this? If I do something like I do CD 
I can't do control P here. I can keep on doing control N down though, right? So there's no, there's no circling. Okay, cool. Oh, nice out that four. Very cool. Always happy to chat and chill, you know? Oh, nice. Munitor, I worked on that actually a little bit in, um, here, I think. Yeah, there's some stuff in, in here for it if you're interested. I don't think it's 100% done. But there is there is a few things here uh, that, that could help you. Oh, nice. Yeah, me and Bash are probably going to do another collab video, maybe about like making a telescope picker or something like that within the next month or so. You can cycle two mainline options. Oh, really? Okay. Um, so let me see. FCF, what are, what's the option to make it do that? Does FCF store all of them, even if there's like a billion? What happens there? Do you, does anyone know? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I mean, I haven't done really anything with awesome besides just install it. Interface no mouse cycle enable cyclic cyclic scroll keep right keep it right in line visible on overflow What is it called cycle oh cycle Interesting Do you know how many it how many things it does like if I do this from here and I do FCF whoops What does it do for this like what do people expect to have happen here? Because now this is obviously not the top one anymore. Right? Now I'm just lost in the middle somewhere. Hmm. Man, this takes forever. Yeah, yeah, sure. It streams the input, but so if you've got 10 million items, right, it store it'll keep all of them forever. Who would grab their cargo cacher unironically? People using FCF by default, I guess. I don't know. No, I mean, usually you'd do what instead, like FD and then to FCF for that case, but that's okay. I was just wondering what would happen. Uh, okay. So, range calculator scroll function. Cycle limit. So we need a new one uh, that's just called scroll, I guess. Return function, max results, num results, row. Uh, okay. I, I wonder how much of this I'm going to have to change to make this work. That's FCF. I use FCF all the time in my terminal. What are your top three FCF commands in terminal? Just mostly to CD to places. I don't really do very much else with it in the terminal. So just like I hit control T and then it does stuff so that I can say stuff like this. That's all. I, I don't like most of the other stuff people do with FCF. I think I probably do with telescope inside of NeoVim. I think. But I'm be open to find new stuff. I don't know what other people are up to. All right. Oh, 
Ah, yes, control R as well. Right. I forgot that that's also FCF. Yes, that's a great point. That's my other one. Um All right, so the first thing I ca I kind of wanted to do was let's say we go back to um Job finder. Do I even have uh, max results here? Or 100,000. That feels fair. We can change this later. We'll see what happens. Maybe it will even make this 10,000. I don't really think that results past that are very helpful. Why is it not enter true? Oh, right. But this doesn't actually work, does it? This was one of the things that I had problems with before, right? Because process result is actually... Uh, process result, get result to processor, add, filter. So I don't know which ones are happening every time we do this, right? Okay. Oh, that's an interesting idea, KD. I have no idea, Whisper. Oh, this was one thing for our self diagnosis. Oh, this, okay, so this does actually happen inside of here. That's good. Sorter score. Um, we don't return this or anything. Get result processor, if not return true. Okay, so this cancels it. Do we know, maybe max result should actually happen here or should it happen in, hmm. What does the sorter return here? Man, it's been a while since I thought about some of this code. I heard you dislike mob programming. We'd love to hear what you dislike. I, I haven't really done any serious mob programming before. I like pair programming, all right. Not all the time, but like a lot. I like programming pretty often. <laughs> um, score. Enter, not ordinal return. If not status, and self that status is start return. Ordinal was discarded. CB filter, local filter score, filtered, filtered, add, return score. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if I could do something like, do I have like max results? This isn't actually the thing. This is not probably the right word actually though. Because max results is actually just the height right now. Do we use max results anywhere outside of here? We do. Result. Maybe we should make like a result limit or something like that. Alright, we'll just try this out. I'm just interested to try this out. Self.result limit is 10,000. Or let's just make it 5 for right now because it'll be obvious. In add, cb add function here. Um, local added is zero. This is new every single time, so that's fine. Added equals added plus one. Uh, if added greater than self dot result limit 
then and let's just air oh no so oh I turned off reloading telescope sweet oh where did that hello come from telescope in it Lua hello oh ha <laughs> Right, of course, of course. Uh, dot config and then TJ. Oops, Lua TJ telescope and it. I just added that one. Sweet. Okay, awesome. So that's good. That's where we expect that error to happen. What's up, liver? Why were there no huddles? But they... I have a second go on using LSP instead of COC. I'm just getting used to it. Totally see the value, but it doesn't work for me. Awesome. Keep using COC. Nothing wrong with that. Huh. Interesting, Dota 2. Yeah, I've never, I've never tried such a thing. <laughs> um, local stopped is false. So let's instead do something like this. Stopped is true. Um, if stopped, then return true. Okay, so that's nice because this means we can start. We could start short circuiting. Uh, how many results we want to accept, which is good because, like, it, for live for a few of these things, I really don't want to put in more than ten thousand things into a buffer. Or whatever. I just will. I'll just let you do that. I guess. Um. I wonder what would just happen if I set this instead of five. Let's do ten thousand. All right. So then. Maybe we don't even need this max results. This shouldn't even happen here. This will just automatically cancel by doing something on top. Process result will have this instead. That's much nicer. I think that's a much more elegant result or a way to do that. Built-in Slack huddles for group calls. No, I don't, that's not uh, that's not what uh, Dota 2 is talking about. They just happen to have the same name. All right, so if I do this and I do this, I should stop at 10,000, which is nice. And I only am gonna show 10,000 things that actually work. Huh, why did that? Huh. That just froze. Why is that freezing now? Huh. Oh, the job's still running in the background doing a ton of things, but that shouldn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and not do that inside there. Let's choose a little bit smaller. So it stopped at 10,000 things, which... Okay, maybe that's not good. And then this will keep searching until we have either exhausted all the checks or searched for the things. Hmm. Oh, thanks, liver. That's, uh, it's a color scheme I made a while ago. Alright. 
Oops. Let's go inside here. That just stops at 10,000 things. But it's freezing. What the heck? That's so weird. What is happening that's making this suddenly not work so good? Oh, is it this grep preview shenanigans here? I'm running into a few files like that. Okay. Probably should not do those. I do like this. I like the idea that... Um, Okay, so maybe it was the previewer actually that's causing us to lock. <clears throat> I'll go for it, Liver. Yeah, cool. Um, hmm. Yes, yeah, so let me think here. We need to go back to here. I need to walk through how we actually draw a bunch of these things again. Do we use this anywhere? Itself is done. What even is self doc? Oh, this would be a good. Ah, uh, man. Yeah. Hmm. 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 <coughs> oh, sorry, chat. Sorry if that was really loud. Okay. So I'm wondering if we should try and start writing this in a different way for how we clear lines. So welcome set to Monster Cat Silk Showcase. An hour of the very best melodic. What the heck is this? Music. This is Monster Cat Silk Showcase. Okay, interesting. Join us each week as Weird. we explore our roots in progressive chill out and beyond yeah it's i mean honestly i don't know that it's any special color scheme or anything it's just what i've been using for a long time so it'd be weird to switch for me now hey everybody this is vintage Morelli, and i'd like to welcome you there's a lot of really pretty color schemes out there showcase it is a true honor to be able to continue this amazing show under the new monster cat umbrella and since can they stop talking music for almost a decade okay uh, right now I'm gonna see if we can make, uh, I'm gonna see if we can make compositor debug, debug, compositor, uh, sorry, let me think, draw, I don't remember, be free to you still here, uh, redraw debug, help redraw debug, is this the one? Oh, there we go. Set redraw debug. Yeah, let's try this. So, I wonder if there's a way that we can do this without drawing this way. Maybe I can set this as well to be a little bit longer. Maybe 50. What happens when I switch to here? It is nice right now that a bunch of those don't even move. Let me call Don Hell Pretty Cool Duty's hotline to super old school. Oh, nice. 
I'm doing good, Drakari. How are you doing? to think about that a little bit more i'm trying to think like how can we draw it so that when we press this like for smaller amounts of files or even for these it doesn't really feel goofy but when i do this sometimes it feels like it um or is it only when i do it huh i don't know how to make it feel like sometimes it looks like it flashes I actually don't know how to make it not do that yeah coming up next this week's exclusive oh, I don't can't wait to dream mate okay. we're just gonna skip this guy's voice keeps getting me distracted hey catch you later liver thanks for hanging out I, yeah, I just okay. We'll just read through this because honestly, it's been a long time since I've read through all this. The so clear extra rows. So this one is one where I'm wondering to do scroll, or maybe I should. I well, I've, maybe we need to change some of the names too because it's kind of weird. So in this case, what do we do? We remove a bunch of lines, bonus lines. In this case, we set them all to empty. I wonder if there's some way that we could keep track of what we were up to with other with other items. Like you have an entry. called redraw right 50 mm-hmm so that's the part that I feel like looks kind of weird right because it's gonna redraw that and then do that that part does seem kind of weird doesn't it I wonder if that's why it looks like it flashes sometimes. Interesting. When dive into your VMRC files. Yeah, nice. Oh, hi, Ember. What's up, puppy? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Hi, what? What? You were just chilling. What's going on, pup? What is going on, pup? Uh, You're alright. You're alright, puppy. Okay. This hat's cooler than mine. No problem. <laughs> okay. I, hmm. It's like, yeah, so where do we use this? We do this once we've completed all the other results. But I almost wonder if this, this isn't even right. Hi, puppy.
virtual machine and multi-pass on. <laughs> nice, Sebel. Okay. All right. I think I got to go and take her outside or something. We'll see. I'll be back, chat. I might go grab some coffee, too.
Okay, we're back. We're back. And then that is super cool. Oh, I've got to work in for some languages, which is pretty sweet. Hmm. All right, let's go back to the top here. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I wonder if I can just move this. Like, why don't I just highlight one row when we insert it now? Call something when we add this, right? Sense dot entry adder. Huh. So I. What happens if we just like literally comment? Oops, comment this out. Okay. So highlight one row does all of this, right? Oh, this applies these highlights, right? 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 Okay. So when we do um, display highlights. Do we know what row we are currently? Row? I just say row. I like one row. Prompt, display, sort of like highlighter. Print highlighting. Wondering if I can just okay. So we definitely are doing a bunch of these, right? My number outside of range. I need to say um, just row here. Nope. Oh, we're clearing these, aren't we? later okay cool okay nice so that's something okay so we should do this I don't know how often we need to do this but okay so this kind of works oh okay so it's this the problem again where they're not it's not getting done at the right time um, let's do a highlight one row. Um, we'll do this for right now. So highlight one row uses what namespace? And NS telescope matching. So where else are we doing this? Oh, those are the only places? Software highlight row start minus one 
Mm. Frost, hey, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Hey, it's two months, yeah. How did you get the search time to swing on the left? Mine's always on the far right. Uh, this, I, I really don't, honestly, I don't even remember. Uh, I could look it up some other time, but yeah. Why do you use relative number, not number? Uh, because when I'm thinking about it, usually off stream, it's hard to do it on stream while I'm also trying to read chat and write code and solve problems. I like to use, uh, like, if I know, if I see that this is 10, I can just type 10 really quickly and jump that far. So it's really easy to do, you know, 20J and just move right down to here. I'm just starting to look at these new Lua Vim scripts, and I'm wondering if unit testing ever gets discussed. Yes, we have unit tests. We even have CI for telescope. So, yes. Tons of them, actually. Ah, oh, we got a CD back into the telescope, though. There you go. All these are uh, just unit tests here. They've all got a bunch of different unit tests in them for different behavior. So yes, that is certainly a consideration. Highlight one row. Oh, this multi, this does high multi select. Oh, see, we don't, do we even not even need this? Hmm. All right, so there's something here. Highlight selection, highlight display. Display row index. Display is displayed rows. Row index displayed rows. Hmm. Yeah, let's jump to here. It's the only place that we use this. Okay, so where does this actually get called? This gets called later. Scheduling required to apply highlighting and selection appropriately. Okay. Highlight one row. Display and row. Hmm, so we always only do this for one? Oh, my tummy. Oh, this isn't set selection. Oh, I'm stupid. CB add. No, where else do we do... Entry adder, entry adder, picker entry adder. Here, this is what I'm. This is where I meant to look to try and do this. Uh, we have this self dot result buffers prompt. Do we not grab prompt yet? Um, we can do self get prompt right that's the okay okay all right so this all right the more we can move things into each iteration the better yeah thanks for car i appreciate it okay sweet so self highlighter high display Highlight one row. Okay, so the other thing we need to do though is we need to make sure this gets cleared every time. Um, this probably should happen. I don't know. This was happening. How I displayed rows. Uh, when we get it the completed, so we should probably do this every time we start before we start, maybe.
That probably makes sense. Highlight one row. Okay. So I can just actually delete this whole thing now. We're not going to use this at all. Highlight displayed rows. We're not going to do that. We're doing this in each one. Which, oh, this is from resuming. Oh. Mm, I don't know. I don't, maybe we do need to do that. Um, telescope resume. Nice, we didn't even need to do that. Uh, okay, so Drakari, here's the scoop, okay? We've got a lot, uh, so a little bit of background here is pretty much what was going on is a while ago when I first made telescope, um, it was very, very, very much like each, um, doing something on each entry would be really bad because we had no way to effectively like um wait to see if someone typed something again so we ended up i ended up having to basically wait to do a bunch of stuff until we were fully completed with a search uh because we didn't have any way to sort of throttle ourselves more or less but then we made some changes that allowed us to potentially throttle a bit better basically like we get to throttle a bit better with a few things um and now we can move some of the stuff that had to get grouped all at the end into each iteration which makes the control flow and what we're doing and a bunch of stuff with telescope make more sense and seem more sort of like responsive this probably isn't even enough files So now, nice, that was highlighting early enough. Maybe I even need to go a little bit lower. So. But doesn't doing it for each entry make it slower? Yes, yeah, so we have to figure that out, Drakari, and see if we're going to be able to do that. But, so there's a difference between making it slower. Um and making it less responsive. So it's okay if maybe instead of taking uh, one second to search your whole file system, it takes 1.1 seconds. If it still feels like as you're typing, it's fast. Those are two separate things. Um, just as an example, if we do FCF from my home directory here, yes, it is true. It's searching a bunch of things that don't matter right now, but this doesn't really matter, right? Cause I can start typing something here and it it's it's still searching it's still you know but that doesn't really matter yes so the responsive thing with live grep is what's enabling us to even attempt to try this right and i'm hoping actually that each so basically um yeah let me just It still freezes up, I think, sometimes, but that's okay. It's whatever. Uh, we're, we're working on it, you know? So, let's say we've got uh, this situation here, right? If we've got... Uh, just imagine this is the timeline that's happening. And we have a bunch of really small entry things. And then we have one big block where we do a bunch of stuff at the end. Uh, this actually isn't even necessarily better than where we do something where each of these entries is slightly wider. Even if it ends up taking longer, we go to here. Because maybe the max time that you have is, you know, 25 milliseconds or something like this. I don't know what the times would be. It's just, yeah, I'm just saying for example, right? Like if you get, try and do something in this slot where it's 100 milliseconds, it's actually gonna feel better even if it takes longer to do this. Uh, just because the like longest thing that you do. So if we can move more things into these spots, that's actually better. And additionally, if that means we get highlights for this right away, like this is highlighted now, instead of only getting highlights here, it telescope will seem better, uh, even if it's worse. 
it's obviously not worse it's just different the way that we're trying to break those things up but that's that's sort of like the problem that uh, we're trying we're working on today and what i want to do is i want to do this a little bit better so that we can potentially um store more results uh and have people be able to scroll like they want to be able to but to make the code simpler we need to go and refactor a bunch of this code so that's not so confusing it's too confusing the way a bunch bunch of it is right now what's up bertrand so anyways that's what's going on Job finder, the only one dynamic finder. Ah, we'll come back to that later. So, what I'm trying to do now is I wanted to do something like you know, telescope find files that as we're searching, still, although this doesn't actually show it now because we have this 10,000, I can add this to 100,000, I guess. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, so that's if I think if I moved it back to the be the other way. No, you're good, Drakari. That's okay. Maybe we should just remove this. Oops. Just for purposes of trying this out. It's not frozen during this, it just takes a little while. Which, sure, we are sorting 514,000 things. Okay. Um, so. NeoVim only has one CPU to work with, but it can do I.O. stuff separately, so that's how it doesn't block on waiting for the I.O. But the trick is now, instead of um, trying to parse all the live grep at once, we do it in smaller chunks, basically. Uh, it's not so simple as just saying do it in smaller chunks, but that's effectively what happens. still use this oh we do use decremented and um, status does. Hmm. interesting Can't. Go all 
actually. <laughs> oh man, find files hidden is possible to make it. <laughs> Literally like takes me 10 times as long to figure out what you're even saying. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Um, not by default, but you could write that for yourself for sure. You could write that for yourself for sure. Uh, scrolling less, so let's change this to say scroll. So I think that's the thing that we're looking for. Scroll, return row. Yeah, let's just see what happens, huh? this okay can never exceed max results that makes sense <laughs> oh man twitch chat never ceases to amaze me you know twitch chat never ceases to amaze me So let's just change this to um, where do we actually set this? So first thing is we should probably change this back to here. Where do we actually set this? Max results equals. So what happens now when I do this? Oh, okay, but okay. So now we just have to make sure that the it's the cursor is visible. Set selection. I'll probably just do this at the end, right? Try this down here. Um, self uh, vim.api.nvim win set. Cursor? This is a one in its cursor position. I don't even know what the cursor position currently is for this. Oh, there is no cursor inside of here, right? How do I do nvim, nvim win, nvim win set. Maybe cursor is what I want. Option, probably not. Yeah, we can try this. nvim win set cursor. Uh, do I have which window this is? Results win? Is it just like self.results win? Self.results win? Okay, I can use that. Man, it has been a while since I did this. Win set cursor. Um, results win. What's up, Connie? Um, let's see. So I know where this is, right? So I should be able to do, um, row and zero, something like that. Oops. <gasps> Was it really that easy? Hey, Connie, look at that. 
You're tired? I'm sorry, Connie. Ah! I think I need to change it so that this doesn't, um... Deplug and telescope prompt, but I need to do... Telescope. Do we have a... Oh, do we have a file type for that? File type. Telescope results. Okay. Lua. Vim.op.scrolloff equals zero. Don't have scroll off. It makes things weird. There you go. It's that easy. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Seven strange balance. Oh, I love that. <laughs> now, that is an emote right there. That is an emote. Well, it's that easy once we can start storing a lot of things. What's up, Orca? Uh, this would have not worked otherwise. I also don't know if it's going to work if I do this in a big thing. So let's go here. Let's just go inside of here as a first test. Okay. Uh, so I have something going wrong with starting here. That's fine. Link list for storing, isn't that optimal? All right, what are you proposing? What do you propose, Connie? Too slow. Hello, what kind of text editor is this? This is NeoVim. Uh, what, what, what's your, oh, Connie, should we start using FFI? Okay. Oh, that's actually not what today's project is. Greetings from Germany. Well, greetings from Michigan. Greetings. Is that... Wait a second. Literally just sends one message and then Twitch Primes. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> do I have notification sounds off? I think I do. I, you guys probably haven't been hearing them. Bummer. Telescope is awesome. Oh, hey, great. Thanks. Greetings from Italy. Very cool. Commands. Edit. Project. Working on telescope today. Maybe implement uh, scrolling. Yeah, uh... I went from Monday. Glad that's just from changing from link list to maxi. Okay, I mean, we can try and do that for sure. I mean, the problem before was uh, Fibonacci. Wow, Connie, you're talking about stuff. I don't even know how it works. In Germany, they value free software. That's why stuff. <laughs> There you go, Muter. Can you really value free software? <laughs> this interests me is I just programmed C yesterday. So, Connie, is that a project that you would like to do or no? Because we could totally make it required to type make. Yeah, send me the PR. Oh, send the PR here too. Okay, yep. Okay, right. So we do have to fix a few things inside scroller. First one is... Um, okay, this has to be math.max. I think zero. Okay, so that's good. Alright, so that is actually working pretty well. Okay, nice. Typing mega is too difficult. 
Well, you won't have to type it. You'll just have to put it into your configuration. Nice. How do I know which row to insert this in, Connie? So that's the difficulty right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, telescope is written in Lua and some CFFI. This is not actually inside of telescope uh, core. This is an extension. We currently don't have any real C code happening there. We could do some of this with just um, FFI, I think, and not even have to compile anything. But, I, but I'm not actually sure. With a heap, you extract max and you get the biggest value. And you do n times and that's the sorted list. Can I do it as I'm going though? Uh, okay, so right now the way that it happens is as I. This could probably, some of this could probably be rewritten. In fact, linked list could probably be rewritten. Some of this could be written, rewritten in FFI. Because it doesn't need to be exactly like this. But this does some other bonus things for me as well while we're doing it. I wonder if I can just also remove, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you know, you know, you know, I was just wondering, I don't know if it will work though. Yeah, yeah, okay, totally cool. Picker index, is there a container before? Index, pen container. Yeah, agreed. I know, because I was thinking about it for a while, too. I mean, the reason I chose this one, right, is because it's easy to insert something in the middle. Um, but honestly, I haven't thought about a lot of, uh, a lot of data structure stuff in a whole while. For this kind of problem, at least. That has to be a trade off your RAM for speed. The data structure for storing telescope results, yes. They get streamed in. Right now we use a somewhat modified special case of linked list, so I can easily insert stuff randomly in as we go. Honestly, it's probably not that good. It was better than just using the default list though, because whenever you inserted something inside, that was super busted. So I don't know, I'd have to think about it some more. But uh, either way. I don't know why. Okay, so it just takes a little while to draw for the first time now. Why is it doing that? Okay, so it doesn't draw until later. That's quite weird.
Uh, if you use a heap, then certain sheep will want you have to rearrange the output, which will be expensive, maybe. Yeah, that's what it's... Right, it, it may be worth uh, benchmarking this stuff. I did not work in a VM. I just boot into Linux. I don't uh, use Mac. <laughs> Uh, why is that for large ones here? We're not redrawing, it doesn't look like. Yeah, right, like, I, I literally don't know. Whoops. Yeah, that would be cool. I don't know if it's good yet though. I just know that it works for this case. <laughs> Let's call it highlighter, a nil value, 224. Weird that that doesn't do anything at the beginning there. So it's like, for right now, it takes a little bit for it to draw there. I actually don't know why it would do that. I don't know if that's some sort of visual glitch. You're applying highlights on the fly? I am applying highlights on the fly now. So I've been pulling... I'll just push the code, Connie, so you can see. Um... I've been trying to pull out more and more so we have less stuff at the end. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good, Connie. Uh, but like, for example, I just move highlight displayed rows out into where we actually like are displaying other stuff so i'm gonna try and simplify a bunch of stuff in pickers too it's been a while since i um tried to condense code inside here um i just have a little function that opens up a terminal and a split It just basically calls uh, new, whoops, new, uh, set win height is fit 150, blah, blah, blah. What do you figure out on if there's a bunch of results? So, I mean, this isn't a ton, whoops, but uh, there's like 6,000 and it doesn't seem like it's that bad. But I, we're still working on that part. I don't know 100% yet. Hmm. 100K plus? Okay. I don't know what's going on with like Ah, see, this is part of the problem here, is I've got a bunch of stuff. So some of these, I don't know if it's just because the files are huge or what. Or if it's still doing a lot of other things in the background. It's still searching for things. We're adding a lot of files. I don't know. Uh, right now, not really. Your 
I've been thinking about adding a result limit here that just stops it from adding more results after, say, 100,000 items. I just don't think that is useful. But I could be wrong. I'm not sure yet. This is this part's really easy to change. It was just so that I could test a few things out. Hi, puppy. I know. Can you still use select item? What do you mean, Kaizu? <clears throat> Like this, you're saying? Like tag a selection, the multi-select thing. Hmm. I know, Whoopi. You're just stuck hanging out with me though today. Mom's grocery shopping. I mean, I don't know if this is any good. Uh, like, I we're just I'm just exploring stuff right now. Right now, it only scrolls to ten thousand lines too. Yeah, it would still work if the selection is not in front view buffer. Uh, yeah, yeah, just, it, yeah, 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 that's fine. Like, if you do this, and then you go down to here, and then do this, and you do this, yeah, they'll both show up. That part's completely unrelated. Yeah, that's part of the thing, Sebel, that I'm... Those are, yeah, those are completely unrelated. Why would we peek all this? But can you select 10k lines? Sure, yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, okay, what's up, Connie? Connie, if you're tired, though, don't feel pressured to chat right now. I I know you're just here for the tunes. That's what I'm saying. That's what I, that's what I'm saying, Connie. If if you're just here for the tunes, it's okay. You can just hang out for the tunes. That's good. Does this even work? This way? I actually don't even understand if that's true or not. What is what is rest? I kind of want to, there's so much just random stuff happening sometimes here.
our student project made some big improvements today, but I was kind of stuck in a long day long meeting. Oof. There is rest three hours. It's the thing you do between the coding. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. All right. Oops. So let's. All right. Let's go back here. Actually. Should have a if cash. So this is this all happened. I don't. I didn't love how a bunch of this was written, but that's okay. We can fix how that that goes. <laughs> These should be two separate things. If cash picker is false or is cached. What if we just take this whole thing here and we do self resume picker? Oops. I imagine there's nothing there that it doesn't like. Okay. Um, my typing speed's like lower hundreds, like 120 maybe to 140. It depends on the day and the text. I think I'm a pretty fast typer. Yeah, this is, uh, this is insider VS code indeed. <laughs> So that's our main loop here. No, yeah. While true, we're just gonna keep doing this. Hmm. I don't really get this. This can only happen once, right? This should not be written this way. All right. Do this can only.
This is there a race condition where we actually don't get here? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm wondering. Uh, it's weird that we don't get to here, but okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't want to fix that today, to be honest. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably related, Sebel. I think what happens is we close it the next time you open a new picker, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to think about it today. I'm already tired as well. Oh, cuz the picker's already closed, right? So we don't have track. We don't have that finder anywhere. All right. It's probably because yeah, I'm I'm my guess would be what happens is uh we don't actually get to the part where we start that finder here. Uh. Okay, actually, all right. I do have I do have one or two ideas here. Yeah, because we never call close and do something here. So I'm wondering we could probably do something like. Every time we check this, we should probably do something like, um, uh, maybe we just shouldn't even do one shot. This one shot one is so hard to figure out how it should be written. Uh, because we don't know why it's canceled. I can just check every single time we do this. Um, like, uh, do we even pass the picker? No, oh, we don't pass it. That's why this doesn't do that. Okay. All right, I think I could fix it. I'm not, I, but I don't think I'm going to do it today. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. I believe that, Connie. That is a fun little bug. Hmm, do we have this pattern a bunch of other places too? The problem's not the garbage collector. The problem's uh, we're still, like, spinning off in another thread. So, it's complicated, though. <sighs> this would be a lot easier with Lua auto commands. I think the job will exit when you exit Neobim. Uh, 
Um, Cause they're all they're all child jobs, so they should all close. Trial process. That's what I mean to say. Um. Oh, Amber. Yeah, I know. That's a separate problem. It would be easier with Lua Auto commands, though. What, puppy? Amber, we already went outside and stuff. You're fine. Is mom home? Is that what's happening? Well, the leaks will be mostly gone. Like, the, the job will eventually close and it'll release everything. Hey. Look at me. Look at me, puppy. Hey. Okay, well, I guess uh, I gotta go take her out. Honestly, I think I might just be done for the day. I know that wasn't a super long stream today, but I might get back on later. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm just feeling tired today. I'm just feel tired. I'll see y'all later, chat. Um, yeah. Okie doke. Yeah, Connie, you need to go to bed. You need to go to bed for sure. Uh, bye, everybody. Have a nice day or weekend or night or whatever time it is for you. See ya. Oh, hey, Prime. Bye, Prime.